Hello everyone, my name is Sinmer and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps out the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hello everyone, my name is Finmer and this is Star Sector version 0.95.1 ARC6 and this is what I'm calling the PD Scarab. So these work great in your fleet if you just want a ship that's dedicated to point defense. That can also kind of force other ships away from the capital, uh, stuff like frigates and such. Uh, these, are the, these are the point defense scarabs. So what do they have? Well, they have four tack lasers. They have a single long range point defense laser. And then they have integrated point defense, AI, high scatter amplifier, hardened shields, stabilized shields, and flux distributor. It also has the vents, it has 10 vents and some capacitors. So if you take, uh, what is it? Is it? Where, I think it's this one. So if you take flux regulation, you can actually get rid of this, put these four others into this. We should increase that up to 420. And uh, at that point, I think you can actually get up to um, 430. So at 430, you could take that and so what is this when we put a tack laser on there? Is it still 430? Is it is it above 430 plus? Three? So it would be 430, which would be good enough. So if you have this skill here, which I guess we could, because we're not using these, we can just sort of use oh well we're not using them anyway I guess we will not use that because we're not using that one anyway so this one so if we have that we could do this we could get rid of that and then push this up to 455 and we have 375 for all of this, plus 395, I mean 385, 395, and it goes up to 335, I guess. So you could also go to like there and probably be fine. But we can put as many on there as we can. There's not a whole lot we can add to that. Um, but this would be like the super version of this. We can, because we have that, we'll just put that on there as well. And the Point Defense AI basically makes these super powerful. So if you want to do, if you want to invest getting to this, then you can do this and increase their damage by a little bit. As normal attack lasers, they do 75 damage a second, and the long range point defense lasers do about 50. So it does one and a half times the damage of a point defense laser. So just a little bit extra oomph, I suppose. So we will assume that uh, since you can field most of these without having to use um, scavenge or whatever it's called, the last one that we like using from uh, I mean, derelict operations. So because you can field a lot of these and not use that, we will assume that you will maximize them. But this is the ship. It's outrageously powerful. Again, if you don't have this ability, then you need to use this version. If you have that ability unlocked, use that version. So how does this work? Well, the high scatter amplifier actually increases the damage of each of these by 10%, and it makes them all do hard flux damage. This doesn't seem like a big deal until you realize that it also means that now they can overload enemy ships and force them to take down their shields instead of them just you know sort of taking them down every now and again now you're actually permanently denying them things 
so it makes it quite a bit more powerful. The integrated point turn shoots down missiles, hardened shields makes it so that your uh, casters here are worth more. The stabilized shields in decreases the cost, it only costs three and you get five and you get a 50 reduction from it, so it's actually worth it. And the flux distributor just to push this up a little bit more. So this can fire forever and uh, not have any problems. I can have its shields up and fire forever. So, what is it actually good at doing? Well, let's go say hello to our bestest of friends. Let's turn off sensors. Go say hello to our bestest friends over here. Because as we know, they're all wonderful people. And in no way could they possibly be bad people. None. Not possible. Hello, friends. Let's go ahead and save. And then engage them. So I can tell you right off the bat, these guys are screwed. <laughs> Get over here. Alright, let's move to engage. And we're just going to throw as much as in there as we can. We're going to tell them to full assault because that's how I'm building these ships, where you can just do that. And, uh, well, we're going to see a mass slaughter here. Oh, well, at least, you know, a handful of them still use the uh, original version. But as you can see, well, um... Yeah. <laughs> those, uh, those enemy ships aren't lasting very long. Uh, two of them just basically died instantly. Uh, one of these ships is having some problems. Uh, it might get, it might take some damage, they might scuff the paint a little bit. But, uh, this guy, you can see he's just melting at the moment. So their specials make them move faster. That also means their lasers do more damage, because they are ticking more often. So, they basically just do a ton more damage. And I'm having to move the mouse a lot, because uh, these guys move a lot. As you can see, this guy, he's having some problems. He's melting. This guy over here is melting as well. Let's just go... Let's go here instead, so we can sort of, well, <laughs> watch them evaporate. Uh, this gremlin, normally, the you know, phase ships can do pretty well. Uh, they can try to escape from things and, uh, you know, not have too many problems. Oh no, this poor guy. <laughs> you can't see him because I'm in the way, but uh, he's dying very, very rapidly. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Now that Grimmel's dead as well. But... Incredibly... But... Incredibly powerful. Let's go ahead and load. And then we'll go see how this does against a, a Revenant. A Revenant fleet. I actually don't know how well it will do. I haven't tested that yet. But I assume it will be somewhere between not as good as I'd like and badly. Hello, guys. How's your health insurance? Certainly, it's great. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. So that one of them sees us and comes after us. That's not a bad one. Alright, let's go ahead and save, and then engage them as well. Just to see how well they do. Alright, guys. Do it. Uh, good luck. <laughs> I guess we can assault these for now until we have good contact with the enemy. And uh, then we can uh, go in full assault. We don't need that many command points. We're not flying a lot of carriers. So, and I, I'm not too sure these guys can win this fight, but who knows? Who knows? All right. We're going to just... Ignore that now, and let's see how badly this goes for those guys. There he is, trying to do his thing, jumping in, making the making the worst decision of his life. He immediately gets overwhelmed, <laughs> and there he goes. I guess we will uh, ignore that now, and we will tell everyone to take that point. And is it ours yet? It's 
might be causing us more problems than good. Alright everyone, do what you do best. Pull the salt. <laughs> Pull the salt and hope for the best. Alright, so, this guy's in trouble. As you can see, he's permanently high on flux the entire time. We're having to try it. Oh man, he's just blowing at the moment. He's gonna start dying real fast. It looks like, and you know, as tends to happen with lasers, oh, 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 yeah, when he started to die, he's died real fast. So, as you can see, they are surrounding these guys. Let's go ahead and look at this guy. Uh, they are going to burn through all of their armor, mostly, almost universally around them before anything happens. But uh, they tend to kill them pretty quickly. And because there's so many of them, they kind of just surround and kill everything. Now this guy seems to be doing alright. He's having problems? Oh, that might kill him. He uh, chose to vent at the wrong time, but it looks like he's alright. Except, maybe he's not. He seems to be not necessarily struggling, but they are getting a lot of hard flux on him. This guy's most likely dead pretty soon, followed by that guy. Alright, they destroyed you know, more of the ships. Um, you know. This guy's alright, those guys are eating these guys for breakfast. And uh, let's see. How are things going for you? He's doing alright-ish. He's doing alright-ish. He's having problems. And, uh, well, he's gonna have to choose between overloading or just dying. So that's gonna happen pretty soon. Trying to get as close to an enemy ship as possible. Maybe he can overload them with his death. And, well, there goes that guy. There goes him. And, uh, well, as you can see, things are going pretty well. These guys can just... Not only can they completely shut down any kind of missile-based fleet, but they can also kind of just dismantle everyone. <laughs> it takes them a little bit, but, you know, they get there. Missiles, completely useless. As you can see, this uh, these guys were over there eating that guy. A, um, a Skinthia. And, uh, oh no! <laughs> this is what you call a hooker moment for that brilliant, for that radiant. Um, because it has all of this hard flux getting dumped onto it right now. And so it's going to have to very soon decide whether or not it's going to keep its shield. Oh yeah, it's in trouble. It's going to start glowing here in a second. <laughs> now the problem that it's running into is that radiants are kind of... Oh man, watch it die. <clears throat> radiants are kind of based on using missiles to really do a lot of damage. And uh, unfortunately for it, it's uh, having some problems. Because <laughs> there's just so many of them. So now that that big battleship is dead, uh, pretty much everybody else is going to die pretty quickly because everything that uh, was keeping all these guys occupied is now dead. But we have lost some, so let's go ahead and throw more in there. Let's remind them all to full assault. And, uh, well, we can see the weakness here, and that's the fighters. These guys aren't particularly good at dealing with fighters, and that's one of their main detriments. But, you know, maybe they will prevail against mass fighters. Who knows? He seems to be putting a decent amount of hard flux on this guy, and, uh, well, he seems to be having some problems. But will they actually win against this fleet? If they can win, then that means that this is a uh, fleet that is actually capable of getting into the mid-game, and now he's dead. We're seeing them dropping left and right, and they need to win. So we'll just see what happens. Maybe they'll be able to clutch it out, but it's the fighters that are really taking these guys out left and right. They can take care of, the, they can take care of pretty much everything except for fighters. So these guys run into a similar problem that phase ships run into, and I don't think three is going to be anywhere near enough to actually win this fight. So, they're in trouble. 
Yeah, two. We're not gonna have our hero scarab save the day here. No, the last of the scarabs. He's like the last of the Mohicans, but uh, well, a sadder movie <laughs> because he really is the last. <laughs> All right, so as we can see, those guys don't do too well against remnants, but if it's a smaller remnant fleet, they can probably take care of it. So let's go ahead and load, and let's see how well they do against... Hmm. Um, yeah, you'll notice they took out most of them, and that's, that's the important part. Got a good portion of it. How do they fare against stations? That's a question. Let's go see if we can find a pirate. Oh. Hello. It's me, you're looking for. Let's go ahead and go over there. We have Space Dock. We have these Armada. And a makeshift sensor array. Alright, let's just lead them away and let's see how they do. Consider and engage. Alright, guys. <laughs> Gotta do what you do best. So the fighters will be an issue for these guys, but after that, I don't think they'll really have many problems. Let's see. Can I find out what the shortcut is? Untether the camera. Because we are playing with dead mode on. And the these guys might be moving around enough to cause it to jitter for you guys. So, yeah, because I want to not have it jitter. As you can see, they seem to be doing all right. Ah, F10. F10. Prepare. All right. Well, that's it's going to take us a bit. Ah, we have to use the arrow keys. So let's go ahead and and uh, see what they've got. All right. One of the scarabs went down. This guy's having problems. That guy's having problems. And that guy's having problems. So. Prince of Scarabs, as their flux tends to go up, they just fall back into the crowd and, uh, you know, come back forward and do more damage. So this station is pretty much just dead. They can't really do anything against this, and they have infinite sustainable damage. So they're more or less the only thing that can threaten these guys are mass carriers, because they just can't compete with the carriers. We have our disco show here, and missiles are completely useless. No worries. As soon as that hangar bay dies, the other bay will, is pretty much doomed at that point. The hangar bay is going to die first, then he, this, that's going to die. But alright, well, they got two scarabs before it, you know, exploded. And now that desperate attempts to not explode. Too bad. Alright. So you know that, that claimed another scarab. That's fine. What you can do, if you decide you want to do this, is take the scarabs and just build in um, one of these. So let's see. Where it is it's reinforced... Down here? No. I think it's reinforced bulkheads. What is the efficiency level down there? I am confused. Where is reinforced bulkheads? It's usually near the top whenever you, you do this. So let's see, reinforced bulkheads. 
Yeah. So that calls five. So if you were to build things in, you'd want to go with reinforced bulkheads, hardened shields, those two. If you have the ability to do more, I'd probably just go with the flux distributor or something like that. But these these ships are outrageously powerful. Uh, and in a way where you don't have to really command them to do much. It will take them a while to kill larger ships, though, so just be aware of that. And it will take a good amount of time for them to really cut apart a capital ship. But at the end of the day, they're really good at what they do. So guys, this has been the Point Defense Scare Fleet. Um, by the way, so if you have a Prometheus, an Atlas, and a Star, a Starliner, uh, this is basically your movement range. Uh, so you can pretty much just gallivant around as much as you want. If you want to go faster, because our maximum speed right now is... Well, we're... We're... Somewhere else. But our maximum speed right now is... Like... 18. So if you wanted to go a little bit faster, you would just swap out... these big capitals with something else. So this guy I think goes at 9, that's fine, this one moves at 8. So we would just swap some of those with, <laughs> you can see all my test ships, um, with some of the smaller ones which I think I have some of. We only want 3 though, so. So we go with, um, let's see, one of these, those move at 7 because of B mods, this moves at 8, so 10. This one moves at 8, so 10. And then this one moves at 8, so 10. So if we were to go down to just the frigate size and have that right. do what we're supposed to do here and make sure we have 150 of those. So if we were to do this, quarter range speed. Yeah, still really good. You could swap out one scarab for another one of the uh for another Phaeton and that would allow you to get really far actually. If you were to do this and just leave one of those at home. our range becomes the entire sector. And really, in most fights, we weren't able to use all the scarabs immediately anyway, so it's not that big of a loss. But yeah, there you have it. And with this, you still move at um, maximum speed. We're in cloud right now, but you still move at 20 if that's something that's important. Also with these, uh, if you use a, an interdiction pulse, you interdict them, they would uh, scatter if they're harassing you. So there's that. And I'll just leave you with the idea of these guys trying to take down a hyper shunt tap, which they aren't going to be able to do. But let's just go ahead and see how well they do. Let's save first, though. <clears throat> All right. Go do your thing, guys. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Because <laughs> the one of the things that makes these Tesseracts so dangerous is that they also have the ability to speed up time. That's one of the reasons they are so dangerous. As you can see, they can just start slaughtering things left and right, and there's not a whole lot they can do about it. So this is going to... Uh, I guess we can set this guy to exterminate and this guy to avoid. Avoid. So they all go and attack this guy. Let's get rid of that avoid, otherwise they'll actually move away from him. But if we were to focus entirely on that guy, how well would they do? Well, not, not well, considering uh, they can't even get his hard flux up there. And they are just slaughtering them left and right. But, you know, they're getting him up there. 
for doing some hull damage to him, but he can realistically just leave whenever he wants. And there's not a whole lot they can do about that. Now when they are um, when they are using their, their temporal shell to speed up time, then they can sort of chase him down. But uh, the difference is he can just kill them like that, and it takes them a while to deal any real damage. So he has some damage on his armor. His, his armor in a lot of places is gone at this point. This guy's just fine. A lot of his armor is gone at this point, at the cost of pretty much all of the scarabs. <laughs> So they're doing some hull damage to him now. He's starting to glow. And uh, they can kill a Tesseract if they all focus on him. Because he doesn't have an Omni Shield. And now, really, they need to focus on killing this guy. So go eliminate him. Everyone, kill him. And uh, they're going to try and avoid these guys. But I don't have much hope for these guys being able to win this fight. Because again, taking out that one Tesseract took like half the fleet. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be very one-sided. As you can see, they are just dropping like a lot. Alright, so... Yeah, these, uh, these attack Tesseracts do a lot of damage, but... The idea that there's an attack Tesseract means that there's a support Tesseract as well. Or a not attack Tesseract. So maybe they have building Tesseract. Maybe they are, maybe they are the unbidden. <laughs> as you can see, this has already gotten to the point where they've lost the mass they need to actually be able to do anything there. So, yeah. So they can't take down the... the super end game, but they can take down quite a bit of the game. They can't take down end game. What is this green? What does green mean? I'm confused. Oh! Come in. Go check. That makes sense. Alright, so, yeah, they can do quite a bit, but they can't do it all. Bit of a problem for them. But who knows? Maybe it'll work out in the future. But, uh, yeah, guys, that has been the Point Defense Scarab. You have this version, and you have this version. So these two. Depending on whether you have the ability, the specific, whether or not you have this, or not. But guys, my name is Infant Mare, and this has been Star Sector version 0.95.1a RC6. But leave me a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and just share the video with whoever you think would like, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.